Hey there, Leo. Uh, thank you for watching. This is your reading for December 28th. That's what I was trying to say, not thank you for watching. I'll say that at the end. But uh, here, you have a great week, another great week. Leo has really had some, you know, good stuff going on, I think. Uh, you know, I think if you're, uh, as long as you're moving forward, you're feeling good is really what it boils down to. But you have the Nine of Diamonds coming up first. I think you're entering into a new cycle, you know, new cycle of work even, where, you know, you're trying to figure some things out um, and really, uh, really trying to move forward. It's been very work-focused, I would say, for Leo, and the card just disappeared, but that was the Nine of Diamonds. And, uh, you know, I think what that card is saying is that it's like you're at the beginning of the new cycle. Like I say, Nines, they're incomplete cards. While mostly they're positive cards, it's like they're not all the way there yet. So it's almost like you're just beginning to really start to see some things like work-wise and money-wise and, you know, uh, even just in other areas of your life, kind of just moving forward just at the beginning of those things. And next you have the Three of Hearts, which is a card of emotional happiness, feeling really happy. Uh, that's This is the emotional happiness card. That's pretty much all it is. It's all about being happy, feeling happy. It can even be a relationship card as well. You have two hearts cards. I would say that, you know, if you're single, love could, you know, it's definitely, there's a potential there. Not feeling it really strongly for you, but I mean, it's still, you know, there's still the potential for something to happen love-wise this week. Um... But Three of Hearts makes you feel happy, makes you feel good. So I would say that things are probably moving in the right direction. Usually when things are moving in the right direction, Leo feels good. I mean, that's when you feel best, when you're kind of like moving forward, things are happening and, and looking up, so to speak. And uh, next you have the Nine of Hearts, which is another new nine, really good card. Nine of Hearts directly kind of tied to the Nine of Cups. And it's a card of getting something you've been wishing for, having something happen that you've been hoping would happen. Even, um, you know, it's a card of wishes. Like I said, it's almost like a gift here at the end of this holiday season for you. So maybe you're getting your gifts a little bit later uh, than, you know, everybody else. But something's coming in. Very positive card. You have two nines as well in your reading here. Nines are cards of newness. They're cards of new things happening to you, um, new situations, experiencing new things. A lot of you could just be experiencing new things in general. Having to deal with new situations comes up, you know, uh, you know, uh, be, uh, kind of like... You know, taking charge and needing to be the leader somewhere comes up with these two nines. The, the nines can be very heavily about a lot of that stuff, about taking charge and being leader. Um, you, you know, but in a new situation, Leo, I guess, you know, Leo's pretty good at that, I would have to say. Um, you, you know, kind of like wanting to take charge and take care of things. So, you know, you're on the right track, I would say, there. And finally, you have the Six of Diamonds. Really good card. Putting energy out, getting it back is basically what the Six of Diamonds is all about. It's all about karma and putting energy into things and what we get back from putting that energy into things. So I like to see this. You know, with this card, I always say, like, probably in the past, you're putting energy into things. You're not getting it back. Now you can put energy out and expect to get it back at least equally, if not better. It's also the card of planning. I think Leo's probably doing a lot of planning as well, trying to plan things out, trying to figure out what their next move is in life in general. Uh... So th this card can be about planning a lot of those things as well. But looks like an amazing week. There's really not much to talk about. It's pretty straightforward. So thank you for watching and enjoy it.